Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, this morning we have some bar comparisons, okay? Uh, we have some 20s, some 25s, actual 24s, uh, 36s, uh, 28s, and uh, in both Neotech for, Hulsfar or for Husqvarna and Steel, okay? And so, just kind of want to go over this real quick. Uh, again, I've had a, a quite a few questions over bars, okay? So, let's start with some of the smaller ones. Now, I actually don't have a Neotech 20 inch on hand. Uh, yeah. And so, uh, but they are comparable. I mean, they're the same thing as far as the larger, just smaller as far as what I have on hand. Okay. So we're going to start with, and with the Hulse Pharma. Okay. Uh, you can obtain these for about 45 bucks a piece. Um, depending on where you go. Now, if you go on Amazon, find a good sale, eBay, uh, their actual site, uh, you can find deals. So, but typically they're around 45 bucks. Uh, you want to watch because Hulse Pharma will sell some that are full chisel and some are that are semi chisel. Of course, the differences between that is the safety chains, and not a bad price. Of course, these are not solid bars. I like buying these. They're pretty. They're pretty stiff. Of course, any 20 inch bar pretty much is going to be. I do a lot of milling, as most of you guys know, on the PM14 chainsaw mill, and so they're pretty. They're pretty rigid for the chainsaw mill, okay? Anything longer than a 20, just in... Now, I will run a larger bar if I have just a log that's just a little bit bigger than I should be running. I'll go ahead and run a larger bar. Uh, but typically, if you have a larger bar on this chainsaw mill, you the end of the, the bar will start doing this kind of thing, you know, sticking past the end of the wood, okay? So, not a bad bar for the price, really isn't. Um, uh got really no trash talk to say about them although it is the rivet uh good looking bar not a bad looking bar at all uh i've had no issues with them as far as the tips have done well uh uh not bad again around 45 dollars okay and this is how they come packaged right here they come with a, a chain as well and uh this particular one came with a semi chisel which is almost useless to me but uh it was actually part of a promo for me and and uh so it is what that is but that's how they come packaged not bad although i prefer the neotech packaging it's just it's 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 just better packaged it just really really is uh it has more guard on it it looks similar from the outside although but inside it's also wrapped with more uh bubble wrap and so i like it uh so we'll put that one up there this is a neotech uh, 24 or 25 actual 24 and 24 25 it's also riveted it's not solid uh these are right around let's see i got a little cheat sheet over here uh okay so for the non-solids they're 37 dollars so more affordable really and again they come with a chain uh again depending on where you buy them guys you can get them from eBay or Amazon or their actual site and you're going to find deals and sales in different places but the actual site right now has them for $37.99 and I'll have them I'll throw a link down in the description you guys can follow the link if you're interested in the bars and chains now listen guys uh, you get we get a little bit of commission here at the at the channel for it it's like five percent don't add up to much uh, if you want to follow that link, we appreciate it, but shop around guys. I'm not after your money in any way, shape or form. Uh, it helps the channel. Sure. But I want you guys to get the best deal. So shop around, make sure you look on eBay and Amazon, all these different sites to get the best deal first. Okay. If you find that Neotech is the best site, follow that link and, uh, we would appreciate it. Uh, so we'll put that one up there. Uh, this next one is a 20, 28 from... Is it 28? Yeah, 28 from Holz Pharma. It is a solid bar and it has the replaceable tip. It comes with a, uh, a chain as well, full chisel. I've been running this one on my uh, Porter 372 Husqvarna or Holz Pharma Husqvarna clone. And, and I run it on my OEM as well. Uh, and, it, and it does real well. I'm really pleased with this bar. I really like it. I can't say much about it. Uh, again, let's see the price on this one, guys. I can't, I can't remember, but I got this one off of Amazon. It was right around sixty bucks, I think. Okay, so not a bad price overall. Okay, it really isn't. Uh, we'll put this over in the whole formal pile. 
hopefully we don't drop nothing. Okay, so let's go to the solid uh, solid bar of Neos. This one you can get in, of course, all the different sizes. Uh, it's a solid bar, as it says, and has also the replaceable uh, tip. Well, I say replaceable on the other one. I'm not sure you can actually replace that one. Of course, you can take the rivets off them and replace anything, but but uh, this one does. And also comes with a full chisel. I really like this bar. This one is actually particularly, I think this one is for steel. Yeah. Uh, so you can run these on the 660s. The uh, Pretty much anything, it runs a 3.8. Uh, so the 381s, the, uh, of course, again, it's not rated for it, but you can pull it off. There's no problem. And uh, I've ran them, guys. If you're in a pinch and you need to, and that's your only saw, uh, by all means, don't go buy a whole new saw just for, for a few hours of cutting take it easy on your saw and don't race through it and uh you'll be just fine um so very all in all a very good uh bar let's see what was this one this one was so the 20 the 28 in uh see hold on hold on just a second 28 inch in this one is 89 dollars. okay now neil's a little more proud of their solid bars than host farm okay and the 36 inch is 129 okay and again it comes with a chain pretty solid guys it really really it actually really is okay and uh i'm really liking that bar like i said 660s 460s 381s 660 uh, 460 rather has no issues pulling it and uh, i believe it's even rated for a 36 so Again, uh, what is that? Uh, Steel says they're 77 cc's, but they're like 76 point blah, blah, blah. Carry the two, check the wind. And so, but, uh, so here's the Host Pharma. Again, we just checked it out, but, and this one is actually for a, I believe this one's for a Husqvarna. Yes. That's the, uh, um, D double nine, I think. But, uh, is a very good saw, I mean a very good saw, a very good uh, bar. I, I really can't say anything bad about it. I think they look cool. Both both bars look really cool, don't get me wrong. Uh, of course, we're more worried about, you guys, uh, we're more worried about how they hold up. Uh, I can tell you that I seem to find, and I seem to, and I'm not down in close form, but I seem to find more of the round off, you know how you can feel the side where the chain comes across on Hulse Pharma. It seems like the steel is a much better quality with the Neotex, just my observation. Uh, but there you have it. Just kind of wanted to do a quick, uh, hey, what kind of bars? Of course, I have steel bars. I also have Husqvarna bars. I have Oregon bars and that kind of stuff. But I was really wanting to compare Neotech and uh, Hulse Farm. As a matter of fact, I got a really good deal on some steel bars from one of our local Atwoods that was uh, selling out. I got a bunch of 20s and some 25s uh for like half off man it was like dirt cheap matter of fact i did a video it was several months ago uh, go check out your local atwoods type thing because i mean they were really that's cheap it was really cheap i think they're normally the 20s are around 69 plus tax and uh 25s are right around 75 maybe 80 something plus tax and i got them for half off of that so pretty good deal it really was of course they don't come with a chain you have to purchase the chain as well but um, steel, you can't beat it. I really like their bars and chains. If you guys notice in most of my videos, uh, except for my 36, because I'm not going to buy a 36 inch steel bar. They're out there. I think they're, I don't quote me, but I, bet, I think they're over 200, 250, something like that. But again, you get what you pay for, right, guys? You know what I mean? Um, but if you were going to, uh, now I know guys that use these all the time and they have no issues with them. Okay. I mean, daily. And so, um, I have a tree service that I do a lot of their mechanic work as far as on their saws, and they run these all the time, a lot, and and they have no issues with them. So there you have it, guys. Just kind of wanted to do a video about bars and chains this morning. Um, uh, like I said, I have some Oregon bars. I really like my Oregons. Uh, all my 20s. Now listen, guys. When it comes to what size bar you run, run whatever bar you want. Don't let nobody tell you what size bar to run, number one. Me, myself, okay, for myself, I use the size of bar that is, as we say, as I say a lot, right, applicable to what the work, what work I'm doing, okay? There's no reason to run a 36-inch bar 
if you're doing, if you're cutting your buck in or whatever, but if you want to run a 36 inch bar, uh, on my chainsaw mill, I have a lot of people that when I, cause a lot, I have my milling saws that I generally run on my mill, on my PM 14, uh, uh, chainsaw mill, I have them tuned for a short bar. Uh, of course, 20 to 25 inch bar, you're really not gonna have to retune for that. But so when I do my videos, I'm running what was what's on there, what it's gonna run on my, my Norwood uh, mill, okay? So run whatever size bar you want to, number one. Number two, the, if, if you're running a 20 inch bar on a 660, okay, and that's what's, you can run it all day long and it fits the wood that you're cutting and all that, it's gonna perform better. It's just going to, guys. Uh, I don't know why people, they, they say a lot about, hey, run this size bar, 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 bar. Sometimes I have guys comment that they're saying, run a 30 on that thing. Come on, dude, it's a 60cc saw. What? <laughs> you know, or run a run a 36 on that thing. It's a 70-something cc saw. Why? It can carry it. Sure, it can. And even the 60cc saw can carry it, no problem. But it will perform better with a smaller bar. Keep it cooler, less fuel, less uh, a parasitic drag okay and so but at the end of the day run whatever bar you guys want okay it's not a problem if i had one saw and one bar yeah i'd probably go with the mid-range probably 28 that's kind of that's the whole thing it really normally hits me uh, either it's a person it's a professional uh tree service type person they're saying hey put it bigger or a lot of time it's a person that they have one chainsaw and they got one bar and they're saying hey run it blah 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 well sure if you had uh, just one saw or two and uh, and if you were gonna purchase one bar, yeah, I'd purchase a mid-grade size bar, like a 25, 28, something like that. That way you can go all around. Those two or three inches ain't gonna matter, really not at all for performance, uh, yet gives you a little bit more reach, especially if you have long uh, spikes, uh, log spikes on your, on your saw, okay? So there you have it. Just wanted to kind of do a quick video this morning of uh, bars and chains and give you a few prices. I'll throw a link down in there, guys. Again, shop around. I'm not trying to get your money at all. Um, I believe you get a small discount uh, through the channel. Uh, although, and that's what we were told through the affiliate link. I had one. Uh, I had one person tell me that they weren't sure. I think they said they thought it took off taxes. Well, there is no taxes through Neo site, so not real sure about that. But the part that I am sure, it comes five percent back to the channel. Um, but again, I'm not after you guys' money at all. All our business is local. I've just shown you guys what we're doing. Um, but if you do want to follow that link, make sure you shop around first because there's all the time there's deals on different sites. So uh, I'd rather you guys get a, a better price than, than a single penny come to this channel. So uh, appreciate you guys. Stay safe. Uh, hit that like and button and consider subscribing if you stayed this long through the video. huh? Check out the milling video from last night. It's pretty cool. Uh, the second cut, I, I forgot to widen out my angle, my lens. Um, it is what it is. Uh, turned out still pretty good. Um, but I appreciate everybody stopping by. And as always, guys, stay safe.